The Friesen, also Frisian, is a horse breed originating in Friesland, in the Netherlands. Although the conformation of the breed resembles that of a light draft horse, Friesians are graceful and nimble for their size. It is believed that during the Middle Ages, ancestors of Frisian horses were in great demand as war horses throughout continental Europe. Through the early Middle Ages and High Middle Ages, their size enabled them to carry a knight in armor. In the late Middle Ages, heavier, draft-type animals were needed. Though the breed nearly became extinct on more than one occasion, the modern-day Frisian horse is growing in numbers and popularity, used both in harness and under saddle. Most recently, the breed is being introduced to the field of dressage. The Frisian breed is most often recognized by its black coat color. However, color alone is not the only distinguishing characteristic. Frisians are occasionally chestnut as some bloodlines do carry the red E gene. In the 1930s, chestnuts and bays were seen. Frisians rarely have white markings of any kind. Most registries allow only a small star on the forehead for pure breed registration. To be accepted as breeding stock by the FPS stud book, Frisch Padden Stambuik, a stallion must pass a rigorous approval process. The Frisian stands on average about 15.3 hands, 63 inches, 160 centimeters, although it may vary from 14.2 to 17 hands, 58 to 68 inches, 147 to 173 centimeters, at the withers, and mares or geldings must be at least 15.2 hands, 62 inches, 157 centimeters, to qualify for a star designation pedigree. Horses are judged at an inspection, or curing, by Dutch judges, who decide whether the horse is worthy of star designation. The breed has powerful overall conformation and good bone structure, with what is sometimes called a baroque body type. Frisians have long, arched necks and well-chiseled, short-eared, Spanish-type heads. They have powerful, sloping shoulders, compact, muscular bodies with strong, sloping hindquarters and low-set tails. Their limbs are comparatively short and strong. A Frisian horse also has a long, thick mane and tail, often wavy, and feather long, silky hair on the lower legs, deliberately left untrimmed. The breed is known for a brisk, high-stepping trot. The Frisian is considered willing, active, and energetic, but also gentle and docile. A Frisian tends to have great presence and to carry itself with elegance. Today, there are two distinct conformation types, the Baroque type, which has the more robust build of the classical Frisian, and the modern, sport horse type, which is finer boned. Both types are common, though the modern type is currently more popular in the show ring than is the Baroque Frisian. However, conformation type is considered less important than correct movement. The chestnut color is generally not accepted for registration for stallions, though it is sometimes allowed for mares and geldings. A chestnut colored Frisian that competes is penalized. However, discoloration from old injuries or a black coat with fading from the sun is not penalized. The chestnut allele, a recessive genetic trait in the Frisian, does exist. In the 1990s, two mares gave birth to chestnut folds. The Frisch Padden Stambuik began to attempt breeding out the chestnut color in 1990, and today stallions with genetic testing indicating the presence of the chestnut or red gene, even if heterozygous and masked by black color, are not allowed registration with the FPS. The American Frisian Association, which is not affiliated to the KFPS, allows horses with white markings and or chestnut color to be registered if pure or breed parentage can be proven. 8. In 2014 there were 8 stallion lines known to still carry the chestnut gene. There are 4 genetic disorders acknowledged by the industry that may affect horses of Frisian breeding, dwarfism, hydrocephalus, a tendency for aortic rupture, and megocephagus. There are genetic tests for the first two conditions. The Frisian is also among several breeds that may develop equine polysaccharide storage myopathy. Approximately 0.25% of Frisians are affected by dwarfism, which results in horses with a normal-sized head, a broader chest than normal, an abnormally long back and very short limbs. It is a recessive condition. 
Additionally, the breed has a higher than usual rate of digestive system disorders and a greater tendency to have insect bite hypersensitivity. Like some other draft breeds, they are prone to a skin condition called verrucous pastern dermatopathy and may be generally prone to having a compromised immune system. Frisian mares have a very high 54% rate of retained placenta after falling. Some normal-sized Frisians also have a propensity toward tendon and ligament laxity which may or may not be associated with dwarfism. The relatively small gene pool and inbreeding are thought to be factors behind most of these disorders as far back in history as the 4th century there are mentions of Frisian troops which rode their own horses. One of the most well-known sources of this was by an English writer named Anthony Dent who wrote about the Frisian mounted troops in Carlisle. Dent, amongst others, wrote that the Frisian horse was the ancestor of both the British Shire and the Fell Pony. However, this is just speculation. It wasn't until the 11th century that there were illustrations of what appeared to be Frisians. Many of the illustrations found depict knights riding horses which resembled the breed, with one of the most famous examples being William the Conqueror. These ancestors of the modern Frisians were used in medieval times to carry knights to battle. In the 12th and 13th centuries, some new spin horses of crusaders were mated with Frisian stock. During the 16th and 17th centuries, when the Netherlands were briefly linked with Spain, there was less demand for heavy war horses, as battle arms changed and became lighter. Andalusian horses were crossbred with Frisians, producing a lighter horse more suitable, in terms of less food intake and waste output, for work as urban carriage horses. Historian Anne Highland wrote of the Frisian breed, the Emperor Charles, reign 1516-56, continued Spanish expansion into the Netherlands, which had its Frisian war horse, noted by Vetitius and used on the continent and in Britain in Roman times. Like the Andalusian, the Frisian bred trout type. Even with infusions of Spanish blood during the 16th century, it retained its indigenous characteristics, taking the best from both breeds. The Frisian is mentioned in 16th and 17th century works as a courageous horse eminently suitable for war, lacking the volatility of some breeds or the phlegm of very heavy ones. Generally black, the Frisian was around 15 hh with strong cobby conformation, but with a deal more elegance and quality. The noted gait was a smooth trot coming from powerful quarters. Nowadays, though breed definition is retained, the size has markedly increased, as has that of most breeds due to improved rearing and dietary methods the breed was especially popular in the 18th and 19th centuries, when they were in demand not only as harness horses and for agricultural work, but also for the trotting races so popular then. The Frisian may have been used as foundation stock for such breeds as the Dolgud Brandstil, the Norfolk Trotter, ancestor of the Hackney, and the Morgan. In the 1800s, the Frisian was bred to be lighter and faster for trotting, but this led to what some owners and breeders regarded as inferior stock, so a movement to return to pure blood stock took place at the end of the 19th century. A stud book society was founded in 1879 by Frisian farmers and landowners who had gathered to found the Fries Rugby Stambouk, FRS, the Padden Stambouk, Horse Stud Book, was published in 1880 and initially registered both Frisian horses and a group of heavy, warm blood breeds, including Ostfriesen and Alt Oldenburgers, collectively known as Bavian Linders. At the time, the Frisian horse was declining in numbers, and was being replaced by the more fashionable Bavian Linders, both directly, and by cross-breeding Bavian Linder stallions on Frisian mares. This had already virtually exterminated the pure Frisian in significant parts of the province in 1879, which made the inclusion of Bavian Linders necessary. While the work of the society led to a revival of the breed in the late 19th century, it also resulted in the sale and disappearance of many of the best stallions from the breeding area, and Frisian horse populations dwindled. By the early 20th century, the number of available breeding stallions was down to three. Therefore, in 1906, the two parts of the registry were joined, and the stud book was renamed the Frisch Padden Stambouk, FPS, in 1907. In 1913 a society, Head Frisch Pad, was founded to protect and promote the breed. 
by 1915 it had convinced FPS to split registration into two groups. By 1943